Hello everyone, this is Dr. Hisham Beha and today we're going to discuss the implantation that we have done for the patient that we have planned together. This is going to be a quick video because we're going just through the steps in the cath lab. The first step is very important which is the vascular access. If you remember the Vasipi method, if you don't just check the video above. And it starts with the vascular access. However, most of the vascular access is done. You're not going to see under fluoroscopy. However, I'm going to uh, uh, post another video basically discussing how to do the proglides and how to manage a vascular axis. So uh, off we go without further ado as you will remember. Let's start. So we start with the passive site at the beginning. So you do the puncture first at the passive site with the six French sheath and then you cross over to the active site. The active site is the site where we're going to introduce the valve. So we cross over using a pigtail or using a Judkins right, a lima, any one, any any of the catheters that you use to do a crossover to the other side, and then with the help of a trauma wire or a long wire, you put your um, pigtail down there and you start uh, your, your hand injection. And the most important thing, as you can see here in the hand injection, is that you do not pan. You fix the table and then you don't pan. And where you target is that. This is the bifurcation, as you can see, and up here is the inferior epigastric, and this is where you're going to puncture. So after you do your puncture, we stop, we just do the puncture, introduce the wire, and then you prepare the, um, you prepare the vascular axis by the dissection, and the many more steps that we're going to discuss in another video. After you secure your vascular uh, axis, you move on with the A auxiliary, which we'll talk about the chron diagnostic coronary angiography. If you remember uh, from the CT analysis that we have done, is that this patient had a uh, significant uh, calcification in the coronaries. And this is where we have to do the coronary angiography to make sure that this is not a significant stenosis. And as you can see here, it's not a significant stenosis. And uh, we made sure that everything is good and the pace, uh, and it has she has a, um, a patent stent and the LAD. And then after you do this, you uh, move on. Uh, we move on uh, to make the to put the other things in the auxiliary, which is the temporary pacemaker wire, the pigtail in the right cron in the lung coronary cusp, and the amplus left one in the root. And we start the C, which is the crossing. The most important here is, uh, thing here as well is that you have to make the co-planner view and adjust it. And as you remember from the previous videos, check them above that uh, in order to do so, uh, you have to first get the angulation from the CT and then make a fine adjustments using the follow the right cusp rule. And here I'm just making sure that the three cusps are aligned on the same line. And once you're done, start the crossing, place your, um, place your stiff wire after making the manual uh, curving of the stiff wires. And now I'll post a video on how to do a manual curve for the wire. And then after you do this, you start introducing your valve. And here you can see that first we make sure that we are below the annular, annular uh, plane, and then we move on to the right uh, caudal views, which is the cusp overlap view, in order to remove the parallax, as you can see here. So this is what I've done. I removed into the um, cusp overlap view. This is the right caudal view. As you can see here, the hat marker is just a line, and this means that there is no parallax and I started to deploy my valve and I can see here that it is a pretty low valve and uh, here I want to pause for a little while and then discuss a very important thing so what we want to discuss here is that at this point sometimes the hemodynamics drops and this is because the frame is totally obliterating of the Medtronic valve is totally obliterating the LVOT and the annular plane however the in the supra annular valve of the Medtronic is not working yet. So you have to go up at least up to 80% in order to make that the supraannular valve starts working of the Medtronic. And this is where you have to move f faster than your regular pace at the beginning and at the end. So what we see here is that I can see that there is a deep implantation. However, there is no parallax. And I think I need to recapture and try to re-implant again on a higher level. Yes, I recaptured, started to re-implant again. I went a little bit higher. This is the same view. And as you can see, the valve is higher now. And once I'm sure that this is the level that I want, I make a check injection. There is no paravalve leaks. And here in the co view, this is a good depth. And I start to release slowly with a full maintaining forward pressure. 
as you can see here now it turned into the outer curvature of the aorta and I'm releasing it slowly making sure that all the valve is released and unsheathed and now it's the time this is not an injection that I want however your injection had to be when the pigtail is in the aorta and here we can see that there's a very good this is a, a it went a bit higher that we wanted we have like a one millimeter below the annular plane let me zoom in a little bit and here you can see that it is 1.14 millimeters and once we're done once we're done the most important thing to make sure as you remember check valve check there is no blocks the if you, because if there's a block don't remove the pacemaker and no paravalvular leak and finally you make sure that you tighten the proglide sutures and you can see here there's a bit of a stenosis however it's not high grade stenosis and there's no affection on the flow and once you're done you remove the wire and uh, manual compression for six minutes or something and to make sure that everything is fine so this is our video for today and i hope you guys enjoyed it this completes the series of videos uh, for the, um, that started from the uh, concepts of how to get a ct a good ct and it ends with a good implantation i hope you guys enjoyed the series please keep subscribed because i think the uh, coming videos will be more of a complex coronary interventions rather than tabby thank you so much and i hope you guys enjoyed it